Hello everyone. So today I am going to demonstrate about the live streaming data management in Power BI. And my data is actually reside in SQL Server and the trigger is when I insert a new row in database so it will change my data value. So here you go, you can see 8 is converted to 9. So how we can develop this demonstration? So I will explain each and every step in this video so let's get back into our demonstration site we have a streaming works space and then we want to create our streaming data set first so in streaming data set i'm going to use api and here i'm i'm giving a any name like live live streaming from SQL Server. Okay. Now, based on uh, this, my table, like, let me show that I have ID, transition date, and amount column. So, I am going to create a data structure or schema here. So, let me, I'm going to create ID and let me say that it's a number. Let, let assume that it's number and date. And it has only limited three columns, three type of data type, date, number, and text. So I'm taking text, date, time. And for amount, I am going to use number again. So this is how we create our schema and historical data. Can see. Let's check it on and let me create. So it's going to create. And here is the push you are a number as well so this is actually in this case you need if you want to create your own job or like curl job or powershell job if you want to send data from request from this url so it will store in our streaming data name which is live streaming for sql server so it is created but in this example i'm going to use power automate so let me done it and here we have our data streaming data set is created live streaming for data skill server okay so we can add it if we need but currently we are okay with for example if i want to switch off historical data i can do but right now i'm okay with and i can if i want to know the api so i can here push url for the api as well so this part is completed okay now the next part is to develop a job in power automate so now i am in power automate and here is a one trigger actually it is an automated trigger okay add rules to a data set in power bi when an item is created in sql server so what it means when i i am going to create any record like using insert any rows so it will trigger automatically and in my power automate it will actually push the data into my sql from sql server to uh, data set in power bi so let it select this one and it's going to create so it's telling that we have a source and there is a destination and we have a local server if you're not configured you can use using your gateway so you can configure your local server with them so i am going to go click continue Now I'm going to provide my local SQL Server name and database name and then table name. My table name is live streaming. So you can see live streaming. Okay, now next part is that uh, my destination. So my workspace name is streaming. My data set name is live streaming from SQL Server. Okay. 
and this one, they are time theta. And now I have three column actually. I, this, uh, I provide it in a schema. So map these three column. Okay, I did with this. And transaction data time with this and amount with this. So I'm going to save this. Once it's safe, I am going to check flow checker. Okay, no issue found. Let me test it manually first. So it's it's first testing. It will load in the environment depending on the speed of the internet and cloud because it's cloud. So let's wait for this completion. Actually, Will is still processing, so I got an idea that why I am not going to insert uh, one more row to test it. So I have now five rows in my table. So let me go and check will it works now because yeah, it's work now. So it's actually when trigger the database, so it works actually. So you can see my last ID is five in my database and amount is five so it's triggered it otherwise it's on a beta state so we are good to go and then i'm going to get next got it and i want to actually i can drop rename it properly but leave it as a now so after successful creating our power automate job which is pushing data in our live streaming from SQS our data set, which is streaming data set. So we have two options, either create a report or we can create a dashboard. Ideally, we need to create a dashboard, but for the demonstration purpose, I am also going to create a report for you to give an idea. So this is our report like in we are already familiar with Power BI Desktop or Power BI service where we have a, a we need to our develop any report. And we this is our data set. And let me say that we want to use as a IT. Do not summarize. Transaction date and amount. Okay. So this is one record actually pull. Why? We have four records in database, but when we create this job, so four, one, two, three, four is already uh, available in the database and five is a new one record. So that's why it's going to create. So let me go and create one more rows. Okay. So now six record. And our job will be run. Once our power automate job is executed, then we need to refresh this page. That uh, This is a disadvantage of reporting that we need to refresh every time. But however, when we create our dashboard, which is going to create, meanwhile, let me save this live stream. Okay, and I'm going to save in streaming workspace. And meanwhile, if we want to check that is our job is executed or not, so let me go here and check will it, will it be executed or not. So I think it's executed. So let me go in Power Automate to further verification. So it's ID number six. So we have six here. So we are good to go here. And if I am going back in my Power or Power BI, let me refresh this page. It should have two records. Yes, we have two records, but it is not actually live streaming because we need to click on the first button. So for creating a streaming, we need to go back, click dashboard and create live 
स्ट्रीम डी बोर्ड ओके डैश बोर्ड यू कैन कुड यू कैन राइट एनी नेम बट फॉर द सेक ऑफ सिटी आई एम गोइंग टू सो इन दिस केस आई एम गोइंग टू यूज कस्टम स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा ओके नेक्स्ट एंड आई हैव डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डेटा सेट सो माई डेटा सेट इज लाइव स्ट्रीम फ्रॉम एस के सर्वर आई थिंक सो दैट मे क्लिक सो फॉर द सिंप्लिसिटी आई एम गोइंग टू यूज कार्ड एंड इन कार्ड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज आई डी एंड आई डी इज सिक्स यू कैन सी एंड आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी लेबल हियर ओके आई एम ओके गुड टू गो और आई कैन से लास्ट रिकॉर्ड इन डेटा बेस राइट ओके आई एम ऑल्सो क्रिएटिंग वन मोर कार्ड यूजिंग सेम डेटा सेट and this time i am using card as well this time i am going to use among column all right and okay so if i insert one more row let me add one more row in my data set okay so the our power automated workflow will be trigger and one says trigger let me check my power automate because power automate job should be trigger first so it's not trigger here but because it will trigger it will take time but it will trigger automatically so we have to hold our horses let wait once is triggered then our dashboard will be populated meanwhile i'm going back to my workflows so this is i just created 30 minutes ago is automated right and if i want to turn off then i can turn off but right now i don't need to turn off it so it's i think it's executed so yeah you can see the last amount is 7 and now if i go to my dashboard which i created just now no sorry this is our dashboard and if i go to report which is very support our live streaming there are a lot of things but i think this is our report so you can see three records also in this so this is a way where we can actually push our data from local database sql server and the job is triggered based on the record insert into our database and power flow or power automate will take care of this and push our data into our power bi data set streaming data set so i hope you like the idea and it will serve your purpose thank you very much for watching this video